Newly released security footage shows what led up to a deadly officer-involved shooting in Tennessee after the suspect allegedly fired multiple shots at officers in point-blank range. It happened on August 11th in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Officials with the Hamilton County District Attorney's Office say Chattanooga police officers were tracking down, quote, multiple dangerous offenders to serve warrants. They say suspect Ronald Hurd Jr. was a, quote, felon, a known drug dealer, and a gang member. At the time of the shooting, Hurd had an outstanding warrant out of Knox County, which is about two hours northeast of Chattanooga. Just before 10 p.m. on August 11th, officers met up with Hurd at a Speedway gas station where he was believed to be, quote, participating in illegal drug transactions. Video shows officials approach Hurd's vehicle with their guns drawn. Investigator Selton Batterson can be seen approaching the driver's side door of Hurd's vehicle before backing off after Hurd kicks toward him. At that point, Hurd fires multiple shots at Batterson, who was shot in the arm and injured. Immediately, Hurd rushes from the vehicle as other officers open fire toward him. Eventually, he's hit by gunfire. After that, first responders perform life-saving measures, but Hurd died as a result of his injuries. Investigators later recovered a stolen firearm in Hurd's vehicle, along with more than a pound of marijuana. A, quote, large amount of cash was also discovered on him. Previously, Batterson was placed on administrative leave last summer after allegations of untruthfulness or misrepresentation circulated. He was later reassigned and received a settlement payment. After the shooting, Batterson received surgery for his injuries. Right now, he and two other involved officers are on administrative leave. The shooting itself is still under investigation by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.